as it turns out some isotopes are less stable than others and it has been found that the stability has something to do with the ratio of neutrons to protons in the nucleus just like as we'll see later in the semester some atoms are more stable based on the number of electrons they have outside the nucleus some nuclei are more or less stable depending on the number of neutrons and protons they have in their nucleus this is a graph called the band of stability it gives us a look at the relative stability of different isotopes of different elements the graph is a plot of neutron number versus atomic number and remember atomic number is the number of protons in the nucleus and here they're talking about the number of neutrons in the nucleus so if you look at this plot the blue dots are the most stable uh, isotopes of any given element the uh, horizontal axis here for example horizontal axis on 10 would stand for the atom that has 10 protons so that would be neon and the most stable isotope of neon if you go over here is the one the blue dot matches up to the 10 over here so that would be the particular isotope that has 10 neutrons so that would be neon 20 and then you the other isotopes of neon would be less stable and they're indicated here with the red dots so the blue dots are the most stable isotopes the red dots are the less stable isotopes or the unstable isotopes of any given element now what happens is the um, isotopes that are above the band of stability and again the band is the blue dots have a tendency to undergo beta emission when an isotope undergoes beta emission remember a neutron is converted to a proton and a beta particle or you can draw it as a beta or you can draw it as an um, electron either one um, give, is given off so that's the beta particle right the high energy electron is the beta particle so by doing that the isotope is becoming more stable because it's reducing its neutron to proton ratio down low um, on the lighter elements the more stable isotopes are the ones that have about a one to one neutron to proton ratio as you uh, move along um, the elements in general become uh, less stable but the more stable ones are the ones that um, are in the middle of this band of stability um, let's see what else the uh, element or the excuse me the isotopes that fall under the band of stability have a tendency to um, undergo radioactive decay by alpha emission um, and by doing this they change their um, pro neutron to proton ratio to become more stable as well so um, and as it turns out any um, element that is of um, atomic number 84 or greater it has no stable isotopes so once you get up to the very heavy elements they have no stable isotopes you can see there's no more blue dots from this point forward all right so there's a lot of information um, in this band of stability plot but what I wanted to do is tell you why some isotopes tend to spontaneously undergo radioactive decay it's because they're unstable and there's different types there's also positron emission or electron capture which are other ways that um, isotopes will change but we 